Okay, so today I will be analyzing the short story Shamaji. So it was set in India in the early 1990s. Um, during this time, India was experiencing a great deal of change as a result of influences from the start of the technology boom and through adopting more Western values. This is particularly relevant in the cities where women could choose who they wished to marry for the first time and could keep their own name if they chose. So women had more rights. However, we see that many still held on to their traditional values, uh, whereby the parents would have to pay a dowry to the future husband when their daughters got married and also arranged marriages were also quite normal. There was also a rise in unions, which meant that many workers had more rights than they had before. However, as we see in the story, the unions went a little too far and um, began to be abused by the workers. So the deep meaning. Society has set up individuals to become lost as they are not encouraged to follow their dreams and be creative, as seen in Shamaji, who is unfulfilled with his life and work. He is made to conform to the modern world, but he is unable to do this, which is why he holds on to his traditional values. Themes. So first we have the theme of escape. Shamaji constantly and successfully manages to escape from completing his work duties, spending most of the time eating and drinking tea. He also manages to escape out of trouble most of the time. Part of his mis escape mechanism is to give long-winded speeches where he plays the victim. At the end of the story, we see he has woken up to his romantic illusions and so he decides to write poetry, which in itself offers him a different form of escape. We get a sense that he is so uninspired by his life and the lost love of his youth that he uses these tactics to run away from it all instead of facing reality and doing something about it. And then we have the theme of modernity versus tradition. Gupta and, Sham and Shamaji, they follow traditional values. Shamaji, for example, is saving up for his daughter's dowry and Gupta is happy for his parents to arrange his marriage for him. They are also shocked by Miss Da, who represents modernity, as she smokes which they think is inappropriate for a woman, and likewise they assume she is single because she still has her maiden name. Characters. So first we have Shah Maji, who is the central protagonist. At first we see him as just being a lazy worker who is very clear, clever at getting himself out of trouble. He turns himself into a victim and doesn't let anyone else speak in order to get his way. When he, Whenever he can, he belittles his colleagues as a way of gaining the upper hand. However, towards the end, we see that he is also a lost soul with romantic tendencies. His lack of care towards work is indicative of his dis dissatisfaction with life in general. And then we have Ms. Da. She is a diligent and empathetic individual. While she reports Shah Maji for his tardiness, she does offer a sympathetic ear when he complains that he is unappreciated. She also expresses delight at being able to read his poetry, which indirectly shows her kindness. She's also a modern wom woman. She works even though she is married and she has chosen to keep her maiden name. And then there's Gupta. He is more cautious than Sharmaji at skirting his responsibilities and so quickly heads back to the office when he knows that he has been spotted early having when he is spotted having an early lunch. He is not exactly hard working either though, as he is happy to stay late at lunch and takes every opportunity that he can to go for tea, just like Sharmaji does. He is quite passive as well as he is happy for his parents to arrange a suitable marriage for him as mentioned previously. And then there's Mr. Borwanka. Um, 
we are led to sympathize, to feel sympathy towards him, as we can understand how frustrating it must be to have workers like Sharmaji on his team. He asserts his authority, but does so within reason. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that was helpful.